are you? Oh. Ruth, talk to the people. I want to take his cone off to clean it because I feel like it's getting dirty. I got it. These are the most difficult things to take on and off. Yes, buddy, I have pet. Look at him. He's taking advantage of not having the cone <laughs> to get all the scratchies. Also, while we're giving him a little break from his cone, somebody sent us these treats. I am working on it. He is the only one that has any interest in these treats. Finn doesn't really care for them. Uh, Coop doesn't care for them. But Ruth, big fan. I feel like everyone has that one, like, pet or kid that will eat anything and Ruth is that one. Someone also sent us these Sheba sticks and again Ruth is the only one that likes it. I think it's pronounced uh, Sheba. I'm not sure. It's right here man. I feel like we should do a whole video of just like ah Ruth. Oh dear. Hang on. Anyway I feel like Ruth. Anyway I feel like we should do just like a whole episode of Ruth tries. Got the cone cleaned and back on. Now we can go see Coop. Hello, Coop. Oh my goodness. He's the one I've been worried about using the litter box, but he has been using it, uh, so that's good. Since he doesn't really care for the other treats, I brought the treat that he does like. The minis are still at my parents' house. I'm going to pick them up tomorrow, but by the time I was done with the wedding yesterday i was so tired and honestly didn't feel very great and the idea of driving an hour home and then spending an hour or two playing like rearrange the kitties um i just did not think i could handle that so they very graciously agreed to keep them another couple days and i'm gonna go pick them up tomorrow luckily i feel much better today after getting some much needed sleep and i worked from home this morning so nice i can just i can write press releases from my couch and working from home means that I get to spend more time with the kitties. So I'll take my laptop into Ruth's room and then come to Coop's room and then go spend some time with Finn and Remy. Speaking of Finn, this is actually a different collar. I took his other one off to wash, but instead I set it out in the den for Finn to kind of play with and smell. We're working on slowly introducing scents to each other. Also, Coop Man just seems kind of itchy overall, like his ears and... The vet said it's probably not from the medication, but if it's not better in a few days, we'll take him back and have them look at it. We're working on being friends, aren't we, Ren? Yeah. Remy is ready whenever, isn't that right? Yeah. Hello. I gotta talk to you, man. I am going to pick up the minis from my parents' house in a little bit, and I'm thinking I might try to put them in here with Coop. Since they did seem to be hanging out together outside, I think what I'm going to do is put their carrier in here and see how they react and then watch very closely um, to make sure everyone gets along. Excuse me, Coop. I can't get to the button to stop the video. Oh gosh, sorry. You and Ruth both, man. Y'all just, y'all know all the angles. In other news, today is their last day of medicine from their snipping surgery, so I'm curious to see their temperament um, once the meds wear off. I am not concerned about Ruth's temperament, but yours, Coop? I'm a little concerned. Coop is definitely the sassiest out of all of them. Watch. Now, Finn is also very sassy, but his sassy comes across as just yelling and Coop's sassy comes across in actions. So we will just have to see with that. With Coop's um, FIV, the only way he could pass it to the kittens is if he was fighting with them. And I don't anticipate that happening, but that's why I'm gonna watch them for a little bit. More than a little bit. I'm gonna sit in there and stare at them for a few hours. Your bark is much worse than your bite, huh? The sweetest out of all the animals is definitely Remy girl. I don't think you could hurt a fly if you tried. <laughs> Now, Remy might be tied with Ruth in terms of sweetness. Ruth is definitely the most chatty though, but he's just a sweetheart through and through. I've also learned that these are called Sheba sticks and we're gonna give you one before I head out to go pick up the minis. Here you go. I wonder if I put it right here, if he would, if he would eat it. Here you go.
Would you like another one? Here you go, right here. I know the cone makes it hard. They should only have to wear their cones for a couple more days. It's just until their stitches heal. Finn actually didn't have to wear one when he was snipped because he didn't have any interest in licking, but Coop and Roof both did have interest in licking, so they wear the cones of shame. I'm going to get ready to head out to go pick up the minis, and I will update y'all when I get back um, with them tonight. We're home. I'm trying to decide if I want to put them in the bathroom or try putting them in the room with Coop. Do you want to go hang out with Coop? What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put the carrier in the room with Coop, see how they react to each other um, in the carrier, and then go from there. You just want someone to play with, and you just want somewhere to hide. She doesn't need to be hiding, though. She needs to be out socializing. I will say, getting CJ into the carrier, no problem. Getting Mercedes into the carrier, she did not enjoy the process. She did bite me. Pretty, um, pretty good bite, too. So at that point, we had to pause the catch a kitty efforts to do some wound care after the expletives were spoken. She was just scared, so we won't hold it against her. Okay, what do you think, Coop? What do you think? Do you know them? Are these your kittens? Everybody seems really calm, so I think it's going to... <laughs> well so far. What do you think, Coop? You want them to hang out in here with you? Look at CJ. He's like, oh, who is that? And in terms of Sadie, I don't know if it would be better or worse for her to be in the room with Coop. I think we're going to start with just CJ, Cooper Jr., with Coop and see how that goes. I'm going to hold CJ and have a carrier ready to put him back in it just in case something happens. Okay, here goes nothing. Whoa, nah, nah, he ran! Okay, this is going well. It's not my plan, but it's going well. Dude, you really said copy and paste. You want me to take the other one out, don't you? Yeah. Okay, now we're back on the plan. I am so glad that he can't pass FIV to the kittens through like licking or sharing a bowl because that would be a major problem. The only way he could pass it to the kittens is if they were fighting, but that doesn't seem like it's going to be a problem. Hey, Sadie girl. I'm not trying to take her out yet. I'm just trying to get her calm a little bit with my hand in here. Look who's letting me hold her. Miss Sadie just has a little bit further to go than CJ, but we will get her there. Coop is curious, but he's being really good about not running up on Sadie. CJ, hi. Coop, hello. Are y'all getting along? Oh my gosh! CJ, where's the other offspring? I need to refill their bowl, but you know that sound that's like, You're taller! <laughs> Why are you so big? I did not say you could get taller. I ended up putting more food bowls out, just so that there would be a balance. Where is Sadie girl? I think she likes to hang out. Um, back here. There she is. There's Sadie girl. Hi, honey. Oh, hi, Coop. Good news is everyone seems to be using the litter box. I have yet to see child support from you though, Coop. But everyone seems to be getting along. I have not seen um, Sadie really come join the party much. I try to spend time holding Sadie at least a couple times a day. I don't want to bug her right now, but when I get back from running some errands, I'll spend some time with her. He just needs a little extra love and attention, you know? Remy, say hi to the people. She's still just waiting so patiently for all the cats to decide that they want to be her friend. Ruth? <gasps> Big stretch. Oh, how are you, man? 
Also, everyone seems to be doing okay with coming off of the pain meds that they were on. And we should be able to lose the cones um, tomorrow, and if not tomorrow, then the next day. You just, you make it so hard to leave. I went to see if Finn might want to join us for this um, update, but he is in his safe spot, which is actually inside my box spring, so we'll leave him alone. Also about the medicine, I know that some um, cats don't take medicine after they've been spayed or neutered, but our vet gave us medicine, so we did what the vet um, recommended. Same things with the cones. Some cats don't need them, but both Coop and Roof uh, were licking things they shouldn't have been, so they both ended up with a cone of shame. And Roof had a soft cone like Coop has, but he managed to get around his, which is why he ended up with this cone. Also, look how shiny his fur is now. You've come a long way, man. Coops has too. His fur has come a long way. It's not as like dirty and dingy as it used to be. We still have a little ways to go on Coop's ears, but Roof's ears look, I would say, like 95% better. He's just a love bug. Hey, Roof. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry our update is coming a little later than I originally planned, but... I woke up and have not felt that um, that ill in a long time. Only other time I had ever felt that bad was when I had the stomach flu in college. But my parents were on their way to an anniversary trip, so they very graciously stopped by and brought me some food and medicine and a COVID test, which was negative. Thank goodness, huh, Roof? So now I have an idea, and I think we're going to try it out. Wondering if Sadie would do better in the room with Ruth than in the room with Coop and CJ. So I think I might try. What you scratching for? You don't need to be scratching. Yeah. Pause. Just look at this guy. Anyway, what I think I want to do is get her into a carrier and take the carrier into the room with Ruth to see how they react to each other. This room just has so many more places where she can hide, and I think she needs to be in a place where there aren't as many places to hide. You and Coop are also a little rambunctious and the room with Roof is smaller and it feels a little bit calmer. The only things I'm worried about are one, Sadie and Roof getting along, but CJ from the start has seemed very bonded to Sadie, though I wonder if he just needs a friend, like with him being in here with Coop, if that would be okay. We'll just have to see and play it by ear. Look who came to join the party. Close, but no cigar, man. I think what I'm going to do is get their food and water replenished and then try to get Sadie in the carrier and I will do a separate update on taking her into the room with Roof. But also look at who's becoming a real cuddle bug. I'm still brainstorming ways to clean his eyes because they need to be cleaned, but he does not like it. Day two of trying to get Sadie to go visit Roof. My friend Maddie came over to have dinner with me and I roped her into helping me catch Sadie. That is a good friend right there. Holy cow, two days. All right, ma'am, in we go. Ah. <laughs> okay. CJ is unbothered, Coop is unbothered. Poor Mercedes is very bothered. Maddie has the magic touch though. We tried this with Sadie first, but she really wasn't interested, and CJ hopped on the opportunity. See, I feel like she just lives in fight or flight, and then she's just exhausted, so she panics, and then she just falls asleep. Originally, the plan was to try putting Sadie in the room with Roof, but honestly, the more I look at her interactions with the other cats, I'm wondering if being around other cats is what is stressing her out. Um, that and you know just this is a whole new environment so Maddie and I are going to get the bathroom set up for her so that she has a smaller calmer space we're going to put her in there we're going to dinner and then we'll see how she does um, you know when we get back 
What she really needs is Remy love. She just doesn't know it, does she, Remy? Okay, I've got all my stuff out of the bathroom. We'll just live there for now. One of our friends here on TikTok sent us this small litter box, which is perfect for this. I have one of the raised bowls for food, a bunch of toys, and a water fountain, also from one of our friends here. I'm purposefully not putting a Nemo bed or a kind of hiding bed in here because I don't want her to hide as much. Okay, got the room set up. I did put a blanket in here for her. The toys, the litter box, got the fountain going, got some wet food for her. Finn was looking in here like, what is this? Finn, you could be her friend. Couldn't you be her friend? Maddie's working with her. It's okay, looky there. I think her being in here will be good for her. It's much calmer in here. It's more quiet and she can't hide in as many places. Sadie's gonna fall asleep. Okay, Maddie's gonna spend a little more time snuggling with her and then we're going to go to dinner and then come back and spend some more time with her. I mean, just look at him. Late night unexpected update, but that is the door to the room where Roof has been staying and we're kind of hanging out outside the door because we're working on introductions. We are taking it very slow, but Finn has only hissed a couple of times, which is normal, and his eyes might be undilating just a little bit. I'm telling you, once he gets over his attitude, I think they might be friends. And for someone who just used to stand outside and scream, Roof is doing really well. Finn has put a little distance between himself and us, but that's okay. We love a gentleman who knows his boundaries. You want to come see where? Oh God, that's CJ on the other side of that door. Roof has retreated back into the closet room, but um, poor CJ is on the other side of that door and he wants, he wants a piece of this. Ooh, be nice. Oh, coming up a little fast. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Doing good. Uh, coming up a little fast, my guy. Honestly, I think this is going as well, if not better than expected. So I'm considering this a very big step forward. Update on Miss Sadie Girl. She seems to be doing better in the bathroom by herself than she was doing in the room with uh, Coop and CJ. I think little ma'am just needs lots of one-on-one -on -one attention and a lot of love. I did want to tell y'all I'm getting closer to making a final decision on what to do with the Mini Coopers. I have a few more things to work out, but I will be updating y'all as soon as things are a little more set in stone. And I want to go show y'all the other Coop kitties, but I also don't want to move. Okay, it's been a while and we've just been snuggling, but I think what I'll do is put her down just for a little bit so that we can go see our other kitties and then I will probably come back and get her and go sit with her in the bed again because I mean just look at her. Finn, hey buddy. Remy girl, how's your snooze? <gasps> CJ, Coop man, hey buddy. We need to fill your bowls, huh? Someone has been throwing the kitten food pellets on the floor. I wonder who that could be. Also, everyone is a big fan of our new water fountains. Ruth has one too, I just haven't set his up yet. I'll do that right after this. Roof. Oh, 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 a scuppy. That was slick, man. I didn't even see you. I have been increasing the amount of time that I spend at the door with the door open with Ruth and Finn because we are getting used to each other's presence. I posted a video of one of their interactions. Uh, <laughs> you look like a little panther. 
Anyway, I posted a video last night of one of their interactions through the door, and we are making major progress. You are just the most chill little dude. It's Finn's attitude we're working on. But your sweetness is going to win him over. Yeah. On another topic, my uh, friend and I today went to a couple vintage markets and antique places, and I got some more things, and I figured, Roof might help me with another haul video. What do you think, Roof? I'm going to get his <laughs> new water fountain set up and then grab a bite to eat for myself and then come back and show you everything I got today. As promised, Ruth and I are going to do a haul uh, like last time. First place my friend and I went today was a place called Sojourns, which is a fair trading store in Crestwood. The whole store itself is so cool, but the store is also owned by someone that went to high school with my dad. So that's even cooler. There, I got this pillow and I thought it would match my den color so nicely. Also got a um, butterfly ornament from, from there. Butterflies are very sentimental um, to me. So I pick them up sometimes. In the same shopping complex, there is a place called Urban Suburban. And there I found a really cool old book called Dead Towns of Alabama. And I just think history like this is fascinating. There was a booth set up at Urban Suburban. It was an independent seller. It's not someone um, who's a regular vendor there. And they had these butterflies. There's three of them. They're all different sizes, but they're brass. And these are going to be for my gallery wall in the den. I don't know if I'm gonna put all of them up or just one of them or a couple of them, but again, very sentimental to me. And I was so excited to find these. In the same complex, there was a small bookstore called Thank You Books. And there was an author there who wrote this book and I thought it was so cool because, you know, I just moved here and it's a hundred things to do in Birmingham before you, before you kick the bucket. And she signed it for me and everything. And I just thought that was so cool. The bookstore also had these cool stickers. So I got one of these. The last place we went to was an outdoor uh, vintage market and there was a ton of clothes. I got this sweater. I really like and this t-shirt. I might crop it or turn it into like a tie at the bottom. I don't know, but I like it. And last, I got a solid pink t-shirt. I really like solid colors. I think there's a ton you can do with it. But yeah, we like solid colors, don't we, Roof? So far, this is what I've collected for the gallery wall. It won't stay in this spot, but this is what I have so far. Finn's gonna help. We have different colors, different shapes, different textures, but these, I'm so excited about these. These are pictures that my friend and I took on disposable cameras when we went to Charleston last fall. That's at Red's Ice House. I don't know why, I think that picture is cool. And this is one of my favorite pictures of all time. I want to have this blown up and put it in a frame. I have no idea who this girl on a skateboard is, but I think that is so cool. Still a long way to go, but we're getting there. What came in the mail for Sadie girl? This came from one of our friends here on TikTok named Elizabeth and I'm very excited to try this with Sadie because I feel like we are making leaps and bounds. So I wonder if this will help us make even more progress. I know I've said it a lot in the past, but I am just so thankful for all of you and all of the thoughtful words um, that y'all comment on videos and all of the thoughtful gifts that y'all send to help make all of the Coop Kitties lives better. The Snuggle Kitty came with the kitty, a heart that you put inside of it and it beats like a mama's heart and a single use heating pack. Now, I don't think I'm going to use the heating pack because I actually closed the like vent that blew cold air into my bathroom because it was really cold in there. So now it's actually pretty warm in there for her. And since she doesn't have a place to like get under and hide, I figured it would be better for the, the whole room to be kind of warm. But I am going to give her this. I've got the 
part in there. I don't know if you can hear it. Guys, I couldn't find her, but last night I gave her um, one of my dirty t-shirts to snuggle with and she's like <laughs> wrapped up inside. Hello, ma'am. Did you find a cozy spot? We're sitting with her, her new kitty friend. Are you gonna fall asleep? she likes to snuggle i think sometimes she just forgets that she likes to snuggle when you go to take her out of her cozy spot wherever she's kind of hanging out but then she gets over it pretty quickly i'm so torn because i have so many things that i want to get done uh, before the work week starts but i also don't want to put her down while we sit here i can tell y'all some of the other things that have been going on with all the coop kitties Introductions with Ruth and Finn through the door are going well. Ruth is so chill. It's really Finn that needs an attitude adjustment, but we are working on it. What I've started doing is holding one of those squeeze up treats, one in each hand, giving one to Ruth and one to Finn so that they associate treats with each other. I think within the next week, Ruth will be out of that bedroom and he'll be walking around the house uh, kind of on his own plan is still for him to stay inside full time. CJ and Coop are both doing very well. Um, hi honey. They're both doing well inside in the room together. Coop is starting to seem like he's feeling a little restless inside, but for now the plan is to have him stay inside. As of right now, the plans for the mini coops uh, is still up in the air. Some things are not quite official yet, but once they are, I will let y'all know, and I believe that will be by the end of this week. She has just, she's mellowed out so much. This is, this is a win. Look at who's working on making friends there oh goodness oh yes okay Remy I know you really want to be his friend but you've got him backed in a corner back up just a little bit there you go good job now stay right there <laughs> sit down I know it's tough he's not hissing so that's good and he's not hiding either He's been spending a lot more time out of the room. He's actually gotten to hang out in the kitchen and in the den. I will say, the house panther is much chattier out there than he is in here. I think it's because he thinks I'm going to open the door and let him go outside, but that is, um, that is simply not the case. But Finn and Ruth have been doing well. Now we're just working on, on Remy. Finn has been doing a really good job to back... Yes, Remy, I do see. Okay, I'll pet. Finn has been doing a good job to back up when he needs a little space. And he, he does what he's doing now. He walks very slow. In terms of Gen Pop, I wasn't really worried about Roof. It's you I'm worried about. Coop just kind of has that, um, <laughs> the top dog attitude. And so does Finn. I have not started introductions with uh, Coop and Finn. We're taking it one feline at a time. CJ. Oh my goodness. His skin looks better, but I'm still going to try some supplements in their food for skin. And if that doesn't help, then we're going to talk to the vet about allergies. He has actually become really snuggly inside, which has been so cool to see because he was the least snuggly out of all of them. You like it inside. You need a break from CJ. <laughs> See, where are you out? <laughs> CJ is very energetic, and I think Coop gets a little tired of it sometimes. Yeah, you're just a little ball of energy. And here's our Sadie girl. <gasps> there she is. She is just doing so much better and is really doing well um, being in here by herself. Was worried about her being lonely in here but I think she really likes the quiet and having the fan on and having the space to herself where it's nice and peaceful not saying CJ is not just the essence of peace and quiet but he can be a little overwhelming for someone who's a little nervous 
You're just a snuggler. Yeah, you just need someone to sit and hold you. Y'all are not going to believe who is making friends. Ben was in his hiding spot under the bed, which is significant because look who else is under the bed. Roof man. Hi, you gonna come visit? Now they've been playing with each other out in gin pop more than just coexisting. But I am honestly shocked that they feel comfortable enough with each other or that Finn feels comfortable enough with Ruth to coexist in a hidey spot. That's pretty good progress, huh, Ruth? Funny enough, I actually just bought some under the bed blockers so that no one can go under the bed and hide. One, because it's a safety thing. If there was a, a fire or something, it would be really hard for me to get them out. Two, um, it's just not good for introducing cats for them to get up under a large piece of furniture and start a brawl under there. Do you want to see who else is making friends? Finn, are you ready? Watch this. Come on, CJ. <laughs> Did you get spooked? That's okay. <coughs> Ruth is happy to just kind of watch, but Finn is actually only two years old, so he is enjoying having a kitten that'll play with him. Coop. <laughs> and Coop is very happy to just chill in here, and he doesn't really want anything to do with the tomfoolery um, out in the hall. You're too dignified for that, aren't you? But when I say these two are just having the best time, I had a hard time separating them last night so that CJ could go to bed. Roof hopped over and went to the den, but I did end up blocking this off so they're just here in the hallway. There is a little spot where just CJ can fit in there if he were to get <laughs> spooked. But I did want to have a smaller space where I could monitor in case things got out of hand. But so far, they're just having the best time. I promise it looks a lot rougher <laughs> than it is. And CJ will go when he needs a little break. And Finn is good about not chasing him. He would like for him to come back, but he's not going to chase him. Coop, are you glad that somebody else is babysitting? <laughs> Were you tired, man? The only introductions left are Ruth and Coop and Finn and Coop. Again, I'm mostly worried about Finn, but now that he has a buddy to hang out with, I think he will take to the other cats better. I'm just hoping you and Ruth get along because it was not so outside. I ran out of time in the last video, but do you want to see um, who Sadie's favorite cat is? I mean, when I tell you I was shocked. That's the bathroom where she's been staying and I opened the door to see if she wanted to come out and join and she did. I think CJ decided he had to go in and explore too. I don't know if y'all remember but that first time I heard Sadie purring and I posted a video of it, she started purring when Finn walked in the room which absolutely blew my mind. I never heard this kitten purr before. She seemed scared of all other cats. And then I remembered that cat outside that we think is the mom. That solid black cat with white feet. Who came to snuggle? But I need to read up more on if kittens go by scent or by sight. I would think it's by scent, but she only started purring when she saw Finn, not when he got close. So. It was only when she saw him. I think she just needed the peace and quiet of the bathroom to cool down and come out of her shell a little bit to feel okay with interacting with the other cats. Now I'm still not saying anything about my plans for the mini coops because it's still not official, but I will say my opinion on it changes almost daily. When I do make a final decision, I just want y'all to know it will be in the best interest of the minis, not necessarily what is best for me, but they're what matter. Y'all have taken over her nice quiet space. Look at her, she's like, what the heck? That was my space. 